Hi guys, if you don't know me, my name's Emily, and um, this should be going up on Sarah's channel later. We're starting a new thing with book reviews. Every week I'm going to be sending you a different book, what I think of it, what it's about, that kind of thing. You know, if there's a movie about it. I've been obsessed with reading books before the movie recently. I just feel like if you don't read the book before the movie, you're just going to get really, really confused. There have been multiple movies where I have gone to see and then I would, afterwards I was literally like, if I would have not read the book, I would have probably died of confusion. So here we go. Um, this week, I decided to go with what everybody's been talking about, The Maze Runner books by James Dashner. Um, the first one is called The Maze Runner, and pretty much what that, the summary of that one is that it's all of these, this group of boys, and they're all locked up in the maze, or the glade as they call it. They come up with their own language, their own food, and everything. They organize themselves into different categories, so everyone has a different job. Uh, when Thomas shows up, there's this certain group of boys has already been there for about two years, and then something that never happened before, a girl shows up. They get a new person every month, and then the day after Thomas came, a girl named Teresa shows up. And so she says that she triggered the ending and all of this, and you just really need to read the book to understand that one. The second one is their, Thomas and their group realize that there's another group of girls they're called Group B, and like I said, they're girls. So these people who are running all these trials are doing one with boys and one with girls. So it's pretty interesting. The third one is when they finally are all able to become free and happy, and yeah. Um, I just finished the third one about ten minutes ago. I've been reading these books for a couple of weeks now. I'd have to say my favorite was probably the first one just because... You know, it started it all off, it got it up on its feet, and that kind of thing. Um, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I really, really want to. So, I don't know, I've heard a lot of people saying that it's not like the book, which makes me upset because when books are not like the movies or the other way around, I get so upset over that. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. But, um, of course, my favorite characters, who are Teresa... And new and people like them, they all die in the end, and I'm just like, well, that makes me want to cry a lot. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, like I said, this will be going on weekly. So I think the next book I'm gonna do, um, it's either gonna be the Mortal Instrument series or Beautiful Creatures, cause that's what I'm reading next. It should be good. I have a lot planned because I read like 60, 70, 80 pages a day because I binge read and it's really bad. Hey, you binge watch Netflix? I binge read. Yeah, but I'd show you guys a hard copy of the book, but I don't have it because I read it on my iPad. So that's how I get all my books. I get them for free. What are you going to do? So yeah, if you like this, then... Thumbs up for you. So, thanks. Bye.